welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a trout hammer. The hook that I have in the vise is a Hemingway nymph fly hook. This is a barbless and this is a size 12 HC114. You can get that from frostyfly.com. I have a 3 millimeter gold bead on there. I'm going to use black thread and this is 8 aught. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye and bring it back to the bend of the hook. Since this is a barbless hook, we're going to go to the end of the flat or where it would hang at the barb if the barb was on here. We're going to start out with the tail and for the tail I'm going to use dark blue done hackle. I want some nice really nice stiff hackles and we're going to pull all those hackles together. Line the tips before you take them off and then just pull them off and you can see that they're not aligned on the back side, but they are pretty nicely aligned on the tips. We want that to be about one half to three quarters of the length of the hook shank. I'm going to go ahead and tie this in. Get a wrap underneath that tail there. And I'm going to trim off the excess. Now for the body, I'm going to take a peacock hurl and I'm going to strip the fibers off that uh, peacock hurl. And I'm just going to use an eraser. Just put it down on my desk and run the eraser down it. You want to go from the top to the bottom, that way it'll come off even better. I'm going to take that peacock curl, that stripped peacock curl. I'm going to tie that in. And I want to build that right there just a little bit because I want that uh, body to come up three quarters of the length of the hook. And we're going to wrap that back to the tail and then we're going to bring that forward again now since it's a strip peacock hurl and I'm not going to use a rib I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on there to start And then we're going to wrap that. It's a little bit too much. This is a short one, so I'm going to use my hackle plier. And don't, don't worry if a little bit of that head cement oozes out. You can easily just touch it off. But after you get the body wrapped, putting head cement on the body would be a good idea. Put a nice uh, thin layer. We're going to bring that right up. And we're going to go ahead and tie that off. There we have our hammer handle. And we'll trim away that excess. Now for the wing case, I have a turkey wing here. You can use turkey tail. But this, this, uh, darkness on that turkey wing there is 
plenty for me. And I'm going to take a little more than a half an inch worth. You can see here, and when you're doing, when you're uh, cutting materials or selecting the amount of material you want for a wing case, it's a good idea to uh, go ahead and uh, cut it a little bit heavier than you think you'll need. Because what's going to happen is when you tie it in, it's going to get skinnier. I'm going to tie this in. I'm going to hold it a little bit towards me. And then come around and that will end up right on top. Now I'm going to put legs on this. And for the legs I'm going to use the same dark uh, blue dun hackle. And I want to get a pretty decent amount of these. Even if you put in two clumps, get about a half of an inch, and you want to look and see how far you want those legs to go back after you pull them back. So we're going to measure them up, and we want them to be about one third to one half. I'm going to go ahead and put those on. And I'm going to get myself another clump. I'm going to take the same amount off the other side of that feather. I'm going to tie them in. You want to get a pretty decent uh, amount there so when you divide them, you'll have you'll be they'll be visible if you use too little you won't have real visible legs looks like I missed one of the clumps there we go Now for the thorax, I'm going to use the salmon colored GSS, Gartside Secret Stuff, and get that from jackgartside.com. Just going to pinch it off, and we're going to dub that on there. You might have some long strands just keep uh, keep twisting it and that will get uh, they'll get taken care of we're gonna see how this goes I'm gonna put just a little bit more on there Remember, it's always better to add than to try to take off. One wild one there. And now when I'm up front here, I'm going to go ahead and divide the legs. I want to even pull them down towards the bottom to get them to sit on the sides. You can see how they're still kind of at the top there okay I have them divided on although they they're not going towards the rear I'm going to pull the wing case over you want to make sure that stays flat Try to keep the any splits out of that wing case.
just secure that with a couple of wraps and then you can remove the excess and now we can get those legs better into position just gonna push them down there and then I'm gonna hold them back with my left hand and wrap that and now I have them going towards the rear there I'm gonna take just a very small pinch of the GSS again we just want to color that thread just so we can hide that head I'm going to hold my legs out of the way put a wrap on it and then take my whip finish that a couple of wraps with the whip finish I'm gonna tug that up put some head cement right there on the bead and it's also getting on the that little bit of GSS dubbing you could also put a little bit on your wing case and a little bit on the body there and here we have a trout hammer Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.